Hey everybody, it's Casual64 and we're up to our regular adventures. So we're going to quickly check out this larger room, pop it in this little hole right here. Oh, come on, brah. Alright, take two. Success. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, yes, yeah, so I was right, the middle beam is gone. That's the only main difference here. That's still really cool, though. So I thought it over, and I am just going to stay here. Uh, it'll be fine for now, because i got to take trips over there for the Iridium mine. Uranium is somewhere over there. Yeah, sounds good. So what I'm going to do is continue moving my resources here, and I'm going to pick up some Uranium and Iridium just to have because I definitely want to build more nuclear power and I'm going to build up today because I definitely need to get that number of terraformation index going up way fast. Alright, and that's the list of all the resources I am bringing over here. The next thing I'm going to do is go get that uranium for the power and then we'll see what happens after that. Yep. Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice that before. But that's for another time. And we made it back. Let's just harvest up a little bit of this stuff. Yeah. So one thing I am actually going to do is I'm going to build a little hut of happiness over here for now. And when I end up probably be building the drill in there, I'm going to make sure I can manufacture the rods so I'm not running back with the uranium because that would be nonsense. There also appears to be a little chest in here. Couldn't imagine why. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess that's all the uranium we can collect for now. Kind of not good. Well, I guess I'm gonna head back. All right, so I changed my mind. I'm gonna check this out, see if it's anything at all. But open wrecks. Okay, there's some stuff in here for some reason. Not that cool, but we'll take it. All right, so I was able to make a total of two uranium rods out of everything I found, plus with what I had. We're gonna knock up those, what, what do I need for those? Let's see, some super alloys. That's all right, let's go build some of those. Alrighty, so I built a little foundation here. Because I'm going to pop up two of these. I made the resources. One major power plant. Oh, forgot to grab super alloy. And now that we got super alloys, we can pop the second one up. Now let's go ahead and build the table with some screens and see what's going on. Nice terraformation screen next to the progress screen. Oh, we saw rain, but supposedly it hasn't come yet. I'm going to build a new screen, the mapping screen, whatever that is. No satellites. Now we got to get a satellite, which means it's definitely going to be our priority. But let me continue building up my base a little bit. Whoa, it gets pretty dark in here. Checking out the power real quick, I got a ton of power. All right, so I've been, uh, building a couple of lockers, labeling them before I even pick anything up. But uh, we definitely have plenty of storage space now. I just gotta fill the lockers up so when I get to the building part, it'll be not constantly run build, run build. It'll just be one big run. Let's go to it. Ooh. All right, everybody big moment here. I got the launch pad. Just need to find somewhere to put it. Uh, do I want it right here? Now we're actually going to put this out just a little 
little bit further about right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go up there and see what that little panel is. Here we are, it's a craft station. Let's see, asteroid to track rocket? Okay, more resources. Magnetic, yeah, tracks. Iridium asteroids gives global generation bonuses. Provides geolocation to the mapping. Provides better geolocation to the mapping. This is some cool stuff, so we're gonna launch uranium and iridium asteroids. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna pop these two rockets up first. We'll see if we have the resources. I'm gonna have to knock out at least four rocket engines. I forget what they take, but we'll see how expensive those are. And I think I'm gonna have to get iridium, but we'll see how expensive those are. I, I think I got this. So it looks like I only have enough to make one rocket right now. Trying to figure out which one's the most important here. I'm kind of liking GPS because I like to see maps and stuff. Heat mul oh, see heat multiplier, pressure multiplier. So heat or pressure, iridium. I'm gonna go with the heat because usually use the iridium to make heat. But if I can make heat while earning uranium, that's the better choice. So I'm just going to grab the cobalt and we're going to see what happens when I build this. Alright, let's get this filled. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Three, two, one. There it goes, boys. Bye bye. Well, we'll check out our statue. Whoa! That was freaking fast. Holy cannoli. Wait, this is supposed to be uranium, right? Let's see, uranium. Ura uranium! Oh, whoa! Uranium! I need uranium! See how fast these comets look a little faster? Why do they all look like they're coming at me? It's uranium everywhere! Ow, my brains! My base! Now what I'm hoping is that does happen periodically, because I already forgot what it said. But if that's just a one-time thing, it's bogus. Not bogus bogus, because this is still really good. What's this weird looking thing? I think I found the actual meteor. Oh shoot. Alright, let's take a quick peek at the official numbers. So. It looks like it might have been a one-time thing, because my heat is... Nothing happened to it. Okay, so... I think what I'm understanding here is the heat multiplier happens when the rocket's probably going off in the atmosphere. So I have to get a lot of heat generated before the thousand percent will kick in. Probably same for the pressure multiplier. So... The GPS satellite will be the first one, and I guess the other ones will just do periodically after we build up some more permanent structures. So I'm going to head over, no, I'm going to build some T3 uh, veggie tubes because I want to get my oxygen boosted. Let's get to it. So I have about enough uh, resources to make six of these and apparently they go outside. So that's pretty cool. Let's knock these out real quick. Uh oh. Oh, do they have to be distanced from each other or is there something else going on here? That was, that's kind of strange. Oh, you know, I think there's some probably cliff right here we can't see. That's all right. That don't mean nothing. So we got five and six. And of course, the plants I chose are the uh, best oxygen producers. And we will fill these up and we'll see how much oxygen is actually going up after this because this is 
pretty massive increase right here. Cause what are these alone? 78 PPQ? Oh yeah, look at that oxygen number now. Meow. So we'll be leveling up in that real quick now. And the grass growers seem to use the uh, crappier plants, so I'm going to make a few grass growers, probably with the rest of my aluminum, which is, what do I got? I got nothing, so I'm not making any, I lied. I'm going to go get some aluminum and pop a couple of those suckers up. So while I was out there, I found the chip, and let's see, display case? Ah. So I'm looking at the miner real quick, it says it takes osmiums and iridium rods. Atmospheric water collector. Free water, so I'm gonna be getting that for sure. All right, time to build them a uh, little. What are they called? Grass spreader. What? I didn't expect this. Oh. Whoa. And it's even naturally raining out, so I can give myself this whole big grassy field. I don't know if I'm doing very simple. This is, I like this. This always gets me excited. One more. Uh, yeah, we'll put this a little closer to home. Maybe more around here. We got rain. We got, uh, when I get close, they disappear, but look at that. Oh, there, there, there. Wow, wow, we got grass. We got grass. And look at that, we're up to liquid water. Because we already got the rain. Yeah, look at, oh my goodness, I did real good with that. But this heat, I'm going to have to go get some iridium for the heater. But it does say to make a heater two, two, four, six. I can make three of those, I believe. So I'll make three of them for temporary, and then we'll get to doing more cool stuff. Ooh, we got a flower pot. Interesting. Since I said the heater is going to be temporary, I'm going to build it in this little stupid cubby I accidentally made. One of them, and then two of them, and then three. Yep, three. Let's check the numbers real quick. It's right here, so up, aft, up. Let's see. Pretty all right. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And we now have biomass on this list, too, I just noticed. So, I guess we're going to have to be doing some more grass stuff, too. I'm looking forward to it. So, I'm not too sure what to do next. I did say this miner. I need an iridium rom. Okay, we're going to run to the iridium mine, where we can also find some aluminum on the way. I already have the osmium. We're good to go. I'll go get those resources. And here we are at the Iridium Mine, under the sandy waterfall. Ooh, and I see my little stash of uranium was quite bigger than I thought. I guess that uh, sending that rocket in space is actually pretty cool. Take that Iridium Rod. Got this needed super alloy. Now we just need the Titanium to Osmium, and guess what's right here? To Osmium and my titanium. Let's go build it. So I did want to build my first one on um, the sandy place because I'm hoping I get some simple materials from it locally. Uh, I'm not invested in getting the, uh, oh, it comes with a little chest. Iron, okay, see I did want iron because it's, I use it a lot. You gotta use it for everything you build, especially the building, the base part. But okay, iron, this is good. Very good. I wonder how long it takes to actually mine a piece of iron. It doesn't say. So a piece finally came. It, it took a little longer than I'd like, but as long as it's coming in. And it also benefits with the heat and the pressure, so that's good. So I actually have enough resources to build another one of these suckers. And I'm pretty sure in this area aluminum is produced. I don't know if it has... Yeah, like, come on. There's aluminum right there. Boom. I'll take that, and what does this say? It says aluminum. Yes. Yes. So we do have to pop these out in the different locations. And at each location, I'm going to end up making a crafter. So I can condense like the iridium or the uranium. 
but that's a bigger adventure. Uh, we're going to check out some of the new stuff still, instead of expanding. It's Well, technically it is expanding, but whatever. We're going to check out some more of the new stuff, see what happens. So yeah, there was a, a good amount of uranium sitting out there. This is all, I believe, just from the meteors alone, because I used all the other stuff building that stuff. And I used the last two pieces I had to make whatever I made with them. The... who... I don't even know, but... Cool. Oh, so I came back here. It's actually popping out random resources. It's not just iron. I, all this was in the machine. I like that better, actually, because I would love a... I'm going to build a couple of these right here. Well, I can't, but that's what I'm going to do when I get the opportunity. So I'm about to build the atmospheric water collector. This thing's huge. I thought it was just going to be some you know, a little device that would collect water, but, you know, this is cool too. Just pop it down. And what, I just use it? Produces water. Things are looking, we've come a long way since I moved. We've got planters, we've got grass, we've built a rocket station, we've already launched a rocket, we got two mining devices, we got this water collector. And two more nuclear thingamahoozies. We are about to have it made. Okay, and it seems the uh, aluminum one doesn't exactly sign. Okay, make uh, just aluminum. It also makes other stuff as well, which, okay, I can deal with it. But I'm going to assume that that's actually the primary source, or I wouldn't know what the icon actually means. And I got a bio lab. Interesting. And I'm gonna build the biodome. It did something weird where it was locking onto this, but I couldn't find a spot for it to uh, connect. Oh, so ah, darn it. I guess the two by two has to be attached by the two by two. But it it wasn't working. Oh, let me prove it wasn't working. So we get the biodome. All right, I'm here's two by twos. Ah. <gasps> It did work! Uh, let me put it... But I guess it has to be on a big one because... Oh, wait, no, there... Oh, oh, go. Let's check this thing out. So, um, I'm just not understanding what this building is doing. It's just showing me a biomass tech tree. I guess that's all it is. It's just a biomass tech tree. And I'm assuming that they want me to put this bio lab somewhere, which I'm out of osmium, so I can't do that today. What else we got going on here? I'm not worried about the glass. We built some rocket. Uh... We built most of the stuff we needed to today. Alright, so before I end this video, I'm going to accomplish two more things. Well, I'm not going to accomplish two, I'm going to accomplish one. And as we can see right here, it says liquid water at 96%. So we're going to let that number count down and see if there's maybe some water on the floor, like, uh, you know, a lake or something. Right, we're super close here. And four, three, two, one. Happy liquid wa lakes, liquid water. Let's let's take a quick peek outside. Well, unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything cool or spectacular. Well, at least from here. Whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make a, an Iridium Rod, and we're going to make a T2 GPS satellite, and bam, we're going to end the episode there. <gasps> you see that? The ice that was blocking is melted. This is a new area. Oh, and it's filled with poo gas. Some iron. Let me take a quick peek, see what's around here. Some aluminum. Sulfur? That's for probably poo gas because this is a sulfur area. We'll have to explore another time because I didn't bring any oxygen with me. That'll be for 
the next video. Because there was a few ice places. Get that iridium rod we needed. Ooh, I can get two. Alright, so I just gotta get that rocket engine and two compasses. We got we got meteor strikes again. Is this gonna be uranium again? No, it's regular resources. I haven't had a meteor strike in a super long time. Interesting indeed. Alright, so now I got enough of the GPS satellite. Bada bing. And we're about to bada boom this bad boy. Nice. Three, three, three two, 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 one. one. So, well, on that note, we're going to check the map out, and we're going to call it a day. And here we are. It's the big moment. Uh... That's an interesting looking map, but clearly it's over my head. And it's actually quite small. I can barely see anything, but you can definitely see the crash sites. The Ring of Justice. You can even see the weird wall formation to the far left. My little mini base over there. Oh wait, no, that's the leftovers of my main base. So this does see far, but I still want more. Well guys, on that note, we're going to call it quits. We built a lot today. We did the launch pad with two rockets. We got veggie tube T3s. We're growing grass. Two plutonium mighty powerhouse uh, thingamahoosers. We got the biodome. Uh, we set up two drills. Speaking of which, I haven't checked them out, but I'll do that in a minute. But we got everything going. Lakes is going to take uh, quite a long time. That's right, also we've melted some ice, so that will open up more exploration. There was uh, an ice blockage at the mine with the osmium. We're definitely going to have to knock that out. And I think we're going to have to make two bases. And we're going to make one with the nuclear, and we're going to make one near the osmium. Oh, and sulfur needs one, iridium needs one, but that's alright. We'll do that later. But for now, Casual 64 taking it casually, and we'll see you in the next one.